In this video, we're going to be going over some basics as far as statistics is concerned and how you can use them in Excel to answer some of the questions that you might have as far as, okay, so what I, what is actually happening out there? What do things mean? Now, there are several terms that we need to get a handle on. First of all, when we start talking about descriptive statistics, you have the mean, which is, it means the average. It's the average of the data set that you have here. The median is that middle number. In other words, if you spread out all the numbers and looking at all these data points, which one is smack dab in the middle? Then you have the mode. The mode is the one that comes up most frequently. How often does that particular, um, does that particular number come up? Variance is the spread of the data. How wide is that spread? In other words, if you're looking at a normal distribution, uh, is there uh, a widespread going from like 2 to 500, or is it very narrow going from like 50 to 55? And then you have the square root of the variance, which is called the standard deviation. The standard deviation is basically saying how close are the values to the mean. When you look at a normal distribution, one deviation, okay, so one deviation this way, one deviation this way, is basically about 68% of all of the data that's out there. So in other words, a large majority, 68%, is going to fall between in, in one standard deviation. Two standard deviations is going to give you about 95% of all of the data. It's basically showing you how close things are to that, to that middle, middle average number right here as far as the data is concerned. And so a lot of times when you're talking about descriptive statistics, you're really looking at, okay, so how wide is that sucker? How far away from, you're looking at a particular data point, how far is it from uh, the mean? Now, the way that you can calculate these things is using Excel. Let's let Excel use the, uh, do, do the work. When you start talking about the mean, okay, that's the average. And so what we can do is use the average function to calculate that. So we use the average function, we identify the, the uh, data set, the amount of data, and it gives us the number there. And looking at the median, the middle number, again, we use the function median, identify the data, and it gives us that middle number. Then we can look at the mode. And we look at our data set. Now, this came up in a... The reason for that is because there is not a number that is duplicated multiple times. So that's why it's coming up with an A. We can use the functions to identify the variance. Now, what we do is we identify the variance of a sample. The S, variance of S, var dot S is a variance of a sample. We're not looking at the entire population. In other words, all of the possible things. We're looking at just a sample, a portion of it. And we identify the data that goes along with it. And it gives us that variance. We do the same thing with standard deviation. Again, we're looking at standard deviation of a sample. So that would have the S as a part of it. Identify the data. And it gives us that. So this gives you this descriptive statistics. That's how you can use the functions in Excel to, to identify the descriptive statistics. Now, Excel has a function in there, an add-on that you can use where it'll calculate all of that for you. What you have to do is you have to make sure that you go to your developer mode, developer tab, uh, tab look at your Excel add-ins. And what you want to do is make sure that it has the analysis tool pack checked. What that will do is then, under data, it gives you your data analysis stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this data analysis 
And you can see that you can use all get, get all kinds of statistical stuff in there. ANOVAs get your correlation. We'll talk about that in a little bit. You can do your uh, t-tests and things like this. There's all kinds of stats that you can use in that data analysis. What we want to do for the simple stuff that we're doing here is descriptive statistics. So it's going to come up with the descriptive statistics input stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an input range of our descriptive statistics of this right here. The data is going to be in the columns. In this case, we do not have labels. If we had labels in the first row, we would show that and include that in the, uh, in the input range. And we're going to do an output range. So we want an output range, in this case, of G2. And what we're looking for are the summary statistics. So we put in our input range where our data is. We put identify our output range, and we want our summary statistics. Click on OK. Bingo. There you have the summary statistics. We have the mean. See, we calculate that. Standard error, which is something different. We're not going to worry about that right now. The median which is right here, the mode, which comes up with NA, the standard deviation, 2.9, and the variance, 8.5. Now this also gives you more information. It shows the range. In other words, what is the range between the lowest and the highest number? In this case, it's 7. If you can look at this, you can see the lowest number is 2, the highest number is 9. The range is 7. And it shows you your minimum and maximum. It'll show you what the sum is and what the count is. So what it's doing is it's giving you a lot of the information that you might need, and it'll calculate all of that for you. These are the functions that you use. Now, how do you use this to answer some questions? Well, here's a football example, okay? Who would you rather have as your quarterback, Donovan McNabb or Peyton Manning? So you're looking at the number of touchdown passes that they had for these various seasons. So if we think about the average or the, the, uh, the mean, so we look at our average, identify the data set, average is 19. The median, identify the median function, what our data is, bingo, there it is. And then our mode. Identify the data, and that's our mode. Now what we can do is calculate that for Peyton. Same stuff. All we have to do is just copy the, the, um, copy the formulas over, and we get that. So the average per year for Donovan McNabb is 19, Peyton 31. Median and the mode is that. So now, how, do we, how are the variance and the standard deviation actually calculated? How does that actually happen? Well, what you do is you think about the data and then subtract that from the average. Now this is supposed to be x minus x bar. x bar is identified as the average, but I couldn't put the bar above it, so what I did was I underlined it. So it's this, so I'm going to say equals this minus the average. Right now it's zero. So then what you want to do is to start identifying the variance and the standard deviation. We have to square it in order to get rid of any negatives. So then what we do is we say, okay, squared is equals this. And for squaring, you'll use the caret or the little hat that's right above the six on the keyboard. And we want to say time the two. That's squared. If we were if we were trying to triple it, it would be time up three. So then what we do is we copy those down. And that gives us that. And we can start to identify and calculate the variance and the standard deviation based on these things here. Now, let's use the functions. Okay, so equals the variance of a sample. Okay, let's look at Donovan's, 30.5, standard deviation, 
Again, we're going to use the function of a sample. Five point two five. We do the same for Manning equals this puppy minus that puppy. Oops, it's not what I wanted. Zap that. Or one of the things I, I made a mistake here. What I should have done is F four that puppy. In other words, I want to hold this guy constant. There's that. So equals this minus this. Can hold it constant. Equals this squared. Copy it down. There's that. Now, let's think about this. Equals our variance. Look at this puppy here. Equals our standard deviation. There. Now, who would you rather have for a quarterback? Okay, well, if we're looking at just the number of passes and things, we're looking at this, okay? Average per year, hey, Peyton's uh, completing a heck of a lot more touchdown passes per year than Donovan McNabb. Now, let me ask you this. Who's more consistent? Who's more consistent year over year? And that is McNabb. You look at the standard deviation, that's 5.5. .5, versus 8.1. Donovan McNabb is much more consistent year over year than Peyton Manning is. And so that's, that's the kind of stuff that you want to think about. What kind of questions do you want to answer based on the statistics? That's what, we'll, what it will give you. At this point now, what you want to do is go through the statistics problems this, the practice problems and see what it is that you can do. Work, do the best that you can on those. If you have questions, give me a shout. You can also uh, hook up on the uh, uh, hook up with me on the uh, uh, Zoom meeting that we have on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. And if there's other times that you need to meet and get some stuff, get some help, just give me a shout.